Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mad Banana and this is Stellaris. This will be our second let's play where I, you know, change things up a bit. You can see here I have created a new species. We're going to play the Banana Nation, which is a, I like, I kind of like this word. It's a lot of A's and N's and A's and N's and A's and N's. That's pretty funny, I think. And as you can see, I also made our own flag. I'm not really happy with it at the moment, uh, but I think you can tweak it as you go along. So hopefully that won't be that bad. There are some tutorials out there. You just type it into YouTube or Google and you find it. So you, I think got you covered. Also, let's go through all the stats that I've chosen. And let's start with the top one. It's the Divine Mandate. We're going to play some more spiritualistic guys. So we're playing as, you know, a Divine Mandate. We have an enlightened leader uh, who can build a tomb monument, kind of like a little bit like the uh, ancient Egyptians, I guess. And we have a lot of slave tolerance and less resettlement costs. I'm not 100% sure if it's the best thing that we can choose, but uh, I, I kind of like it and I want to try it. What we also could do is despotic empire. An oversized military station could also be interesting, I think. But I chose the divine mandate just for, I don't know, fun's sake. I, I don't I don't really know. I'm not going for a min-max uh, stuff right here. Um, kind of. I, I chose some synergies. Uh, as you can see here, we have, as the collectivists, another... Uh, slave tolerance modifier, so 50% here, 50% here, maybe we add up to 100. Uh, the next one, the fanatic spiritualist, I think is... Uh, I need, I actually wanted to add a... Oh, that's a female, interesting. Uh, I wanted to add our own portrait over here, but I, I that, that would just look amazingly bad, because I, as you can see, I, I, I can't draw. And uh, yeah, I actually wanted to have a banana right here. Because we have a race of sentient tele uh, telepath telepathic tele telepathic? No. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We're, we're kind of like sentient bananas. We don't have arms. We move stuff around with telekinesis and stuff. So we're kind of like the psionic guys or something like that. And uh, that's why I, I thought maybe we're going to go with more this spiritualistic uh, thing with plus 10 percent happiness so yeah that's i think that's that's pretty good that adds to that seeing that we are also pretty much intelligent that's something that we need to be i think because we're sentient bananas i mean come on we, we must be hyper intelligent that's just it but um we're, we're kind of weak it makes sense kind of squishy uh and also, uh, we don't have the long lifetime modifier anymore because it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, bananas go bad really fast and stuff. So that's that's one thing that we have here. We're also kind of decadent. So uh, if we don't have slaves, we have less, um, well, re resource output. But since we're 100% or hopefully 100% resistant or highly resistant to slavery, um, we will have slaves. That's it. I don't know if we really need whips, but... Eh, whatever. And I've also chosen the habitability mod, the adaptive mod, means that we can, uh, that we have higher habitability on other planets. Our main world will be a tropical world, makes sense to me, seeing we're kind of a tropical fruit. Uh, we also have some, na the neighboring classes, uh, the neighboring stars here are the ones that are in our reach, so if we go Tropical Preference, that means the desert and the continental worlds are 60%. With our um, habitability modifier, I think we go to 70, and that should be kind of good. Uh, there are some buildings that we've seen in our Parrot Let's Play that, that bumped it up, so maybe we can go to 80 or 90% habitability, that would be cool. So our home world is called, yeah, Bananadar, why not? Our star is the so-called Staude, which basically, well, is the banana tree. If you translate it, uh, you would have to add bananen in front of this, so bananen Staude would be a banana tree. So I thought it's, it's kind of fitting. Uh, this time we're going with wormhole travel. I have no clue how this will work. I just want to mix things up. And we're going with the fungoid ships, because what's the most... Uh, 
What's the most scary thing? What's the scariest thing that a banana could think of? Well, mold, of course. We don't want to have fungoids on us. And the, that's why we think that ships that look like fungoids are pretty pretty scary, right? That's, that's our main reasoning behind that. So I think I'll save them, because they're pretty weird. And something else, I guess. And we're done with this. So let's do it. Let's jump into the game. Uh, I think we're going with small. Uh, everything else will take way too long. Um, I want to go with the ring galaxy this time. Something else, once again. Uh, maybe we go with a little bit less empires, like 9 to 2, maybe? Something like that. Difficulty, normal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a noob anyways. Uh, but this time we're going to play with Iron Man mode. Why? Because I want to unlock some achievements and you have to use Iron Man for this. So let's see if we can do stuff. Load up the game. All right, there we go, Banana Nation. We have the Domain Mandate, uh, we have all this thing, blah, 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 we know. So yeah, the first primitive Mana Banana communities took shape in the dense jungles of Bananadar. A civilization has spread and prospered, blah, 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 we are pretty good. We had, um, yeah, the last heathen strongholds were vanquished after several bloody crusades, uniting us under the holy will of a single divine leader. Yep, that's basically exactly what we do. Now, after the successful creation of artificial subspace wormholes, the finest minds of the man Mana Banana Nation, <laughs> my god, this will be horrible to read, have finished construction of the first wormhole station at the edge of our system. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin. There we go. So, we have the first extra orbital cores. That's our first chip. We have all, all our standard stuff. Staude is right in the middle. And uh, yeah, let's let's try and see what we can do or can't do. Let's start with research. I like to start with research. Uh, I think quantum theory is pretty much standard, but let's take a look at our planet first. The surface. What do we have? We have some slums, we have some physics, we have some engineering, and we have quite a lot of um, society research over here. So yeah, I think going into quantum theory would be a good thing to um, kind of even out the playing field so we don't uh, have too much of one of these. I think having a kind of, you know, even playing field is good. I don't think there is anything better than new world protocols in the beginning. We want to go there, and he's he is an expert in rocketry. He is good at new worlds, which is great, and he is a good he is good in particle physics, uh, particle theory. That's good. That's good. Uh, engineering facility, meh. They are all kind of bad. Let's go for the engineering facility. You know, evening out the playing field, I guess, would be good. Let's select our science ship by pressing the button number three. Three is the number that you should count, not to two, unless you are to pr uh, proceed to three. Five is completely out. I think it's the... It's been a while since I last saw that movie. If you don't know what I just quoted, shame on you. Oh, by the way, we also have this cool banana here. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to really do this. Uh, yeah, I'm just proud of that. So everything within this green circle, I think, should be our... Is it? Is our wormhole reach? Uh, let's... Or is... No, the yellow one is the... The green is the sensor. Holy crap, we can jump far. That's awesome. Well, in that case, I think we're going to look at the ones that have... Ah, but we have to jump back all, all the time. Well, doesn't really matter, I think. Let's do this. Go in spirals, why not? Alright. Uh, let's take... Yeah. This one. And over there. Perfect. That should do it for quite, quite a while. Did I forget to do something? Oh yeah, one thing I guess. Oh, planet number one. I think we need to enslave people. 
Uh, I really hate to do this, but uh, you are going to be enslaved. Yeah, sure. There we go. This pop is enslaved, and slave pops create generates unhappiness for all individual pops on the planet. <gasps> no. Why? But they're 82% happy. Good. I like that. So wait a minute. So we should have 90% here, right? Happiness plus 10. Proud board extrusion. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. Ah, uh, well. Let's build a... Hydroponic farm over there. And then we should, I think, save our minerals to build more uh, mineral income stuff. Oh, look at that. High Priestess Lifres Kur Padarn? Yeah, that's an R and an N, right? Or no, is it an M? Oh, whatever. It's a new heir and will take the throne when our current leader dies. All right. So we have a new leader or, or a new heir. Champion of the people. That's great. I like that. Sounds good. And she's warlike. She loves to, well, build, yeah, ship cost, army cost. Yeah, why not? Why not? I like that. That seems to be a good thing. She's warlike. A uh, leader that we have at the moment is warlike. Fine. And a fertility preacher, so we have more food. Okay. Right. Um, I also took a look at the, at these edicts. They seem to be quite good. Ah, there we go. Let's build a mining station right now. And go back to the government screen because I'd really like to look through this. So information quarantine get, gets rid of the ethics divergence, uh, but kind of slows research. I'm not going to do that. Do we want to increase the research speed but also buff the ethics divergence? I don't know, maybe. I didn't really see if the ethics divergence does anything. Or we can grant or greatly increase some special research. I don't think we really need that. Here we go for that one for now. I mean, it, it says Empire Edicts give modifiers uh, to the Empire as a whole. They can be enabled for a monthly influence cost. And I guess we can, but there, that doesn't really say that we can take it away instantly. But let's do it. It's active now. And we can immediately take it back. That's good. Oh, we have a slave faction. Look at that. Hmm. They have no effects, though. They'll never have any effects. They demand to be free. Interesting. Oh, and we found the alpha aliens. That's interesting as well. We should proceed with caution. Where did we find them, though? That's interesting, and we need to look at them. Hmm, okay. We can't. We can't. It did not take long for the Banana Banana Nation to come across intelligent alien life. The fleet's report... Oh. To, uh, so, oh, 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 oh. To the capital. Somewhat understates, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We have another. The beta aliens. We've encountered some form of alien vessel. Objects flagged. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's... Oh, that's alpha aliens. They look like the squids. Oh, they're coming at us. I don't like that. Could you jump out, please? It would be good if you do. Thank you very much. Alright. There's that. Did you finish? No, you did not. Let's move over to there. Fine. Hmm, that's interesting. I did not think that we will... Yeah, well, thank you very much. I did not think that we would get any... Anomaly found. Oh, that's good. But... Holy cow! Leave it be for now. They are not capable enough. It's interesting. It's the first time that I really get this. Hmm. 
Oh, they all autom automatically join it. Interesting. Has chance to gain support. Huh. Finish the construction queue? Oh yeah, the planet, right. Where's the pop growing down there? Do we need to go into research right now? What if we completely enslave everybody? What happens then? Well, there we go. Yeah, we're going to, of course, we go for the Habitable World Survey. That's, that's an amazing one, if I remember correctly. Let's see, we're also going to jump our survey ship over there. Looks kind of good. And second, we're going to take our construction ship. Oh, they're still doing that. It's kind of a poor system, as far as I can see. Let's up the speed a bit. Hmm. All right. Okay, one thing. We don't need to upgrade our warp drives this time. All right, there's nothing really that we can think of. I'm I sh I'm still not sure what these factions can System do. Let's survey complete. Oh, okay, we could just um well, give them freedom again. Hmm. Chance of getting support. I don't really think that they would get support. I mean, how would they? Everybody is tolerant of slaves, so Everybody, I think, would be like, yeah, so you're enslaved? That's... and that's bad how? I mean, I feel, ba I feel bad for them, but th that's just how bananas work, I guess. Nice. Our, sci uh, our scientist, who's actually on the ship. Oh, he can find... Holy crap, that's amazing if we find one of those ancient uh, thingies. Oh yeah, we've finished our system survey, that's alright. Where's our... is that our wormhole thing? Yeah, that's our wormhole generator. Can we build one of those right now? Oh, we can! Well, that's kind of expensive though. Actually, we, re we don't really need it at the moment. Sadly, there are really strong aliens there, if I remember. Also, one thing that I've learned is that you can actually start to do this. Because you... As far as I know, we store it up if we uh, research that. So, let's see if we, if we store... Yeah, there we go, see? It's... Funnily enough, it... Well, why the hell would you round it up? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. Found a bunch of crystals here. They're kind of weak, though. That's good. I like that. And you're done, so I want to jump you over there. Uh, maybe we're going to go down here next. Or there. I don't. I don't even care. We need some surveys. Maybe we should build a second survey ship. It it seems to be a good thing. Alright, so we want a bunch of minerals, I would say. There's a habitable world over here. Let's take a peek. It's a tropical one. Nice, that would be 100%. It's kind of small, though. Only a 12. Only a size 12 planet. Eh. I don't know. Arid, not really. Tundra, not really. Arid, not really, no. It's an interesting star, eh? Yellow Dwarf. Hmm. Where's the fleet? Oh, wow, that's a strong one. Are they coming at us, though? Complete. Oh, Space Amoeba, cool. Log updated. Where was that? Class M star. Okay, that's kind of far away though. That's good. Uh, Delta aliens. My god, stop it! 
So we stored nine of these. Is it still researching? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I'm still not sure if the, if we should. Wait a minute. Give me, give, wait, 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 wait a minute. Those guys have higher mineral output, right? Because they're slaves. Slaves always have higher mineral output. So we should enslave everybody on mineral tiles. And I think they have even more food production. Even more. Would you look at that? Slavery tolerance. Uh, where? Why can't I see that, actually? Ah, uh, we're losing. Ever, uh, well, money ever so slightly. Not really a problem, though. Wait, 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 wait. Are we surveying here? No, that's our main fleet. Okay. We need to be careful about that. Ah, uh, where is it again? It's leading... Hmm. How would you do that, though? Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Resource outputs without slaves. Yeah, that's negative. That's okay. We have plus 10 habitability to everything. That's also kind of interesting. Um... Yeah, but it doesn't tell me that slaves are actually producing more. But I do think that's just that's just a given fact. I think it's on, uh, on um it would be cool if you can see that anywhere. That's a, that's the adjacency adjacency output. That tells me only that it's actually in slave. System survey complete. Drag and drop click to show details. No, it doesn't really tell me. Slavery tolerance, general pop happiness. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, let's go for. Ooh, we need a new building here. Let's go for a pop plant. There we go. I think you're going to get enslaved. Ah, there we go. Enslave this pop. Enslave pops excel at manual labor, but are not useful for more. Okay. Likely to react to the presence of slaves. Also risks damaging our... Re no, okay, not really then. Let's see. It's on three. Three food output, right? Oh, 3.9 even. It's enslave. And yep, yeah, it did work. And you are... Oh yeah, 20% more. Great, great. So it works. It would also... So we're going to enslave these guys. Nice. Even more food. I think that that's, that's good for us. I don't think that energy credits... That they would go, f uh, and, you know, you can put um, slaves into energy producing buildings. You know, manual labor, I think, is only mining and farming. Huh. Alright, not too bad. Um, why are you not coming back at the moment? Could you tell me? Oh, no, it's fast. Weird. Oh, would you look at that? I think we have neighbors. Mm, can we jump over there and go there? We have two neighbors actually. Hmm. Kind of crowded here again. Construction complete. Very good. Our construction on the surface is done. So, I think we're going to build a research station over there, a mining station over there. Another research station over here. Where's our science ship, actually? Oh, there's still... Zeta aliens. Alright, alright. Oh, by the way, we should check the situation log and try to find these ones. Who are you? Huh. Interesting. 
I think there should be either the Delta aliens or the Epsilon aliens. Research complete. Oh great, uh, let's pause for a second. I think we- oh. Simultaneously, eh? Okay, well then. Let's go for the new stuff. Um, pa -pa -pum. what do we want over here? You're good at particle stuff, right? I don't know why lasers count for particle stuff. Oh well, you can actually see it's photons, right? Like particles. Or we go for power plants tier 2. To get even more energy. I guess better lasers would be better for now. I want to upgrade our fleet and get rid of some of the freaking stuff that we don't want here. Uh, since it's good as rocketry... No, I guess mining networks would be better. I want more minerals. And I don't think that the iron thrusters are that great, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm going for that. Okay, and then we wanted to go into the situation log and research the Epsilon aliens. Do it! I, th I would guess that they're over here. Uh, seeing the spiral that we did was, you know this way and maybe hopefully it's the it's this it's the weeping ghost nebula ha huh, those lucky bastards started in a nebula nebulae give a 30 percent travel speed penalty to ships in interstellar flight well that's bad I haven't found a uh, good anomaly yet i mean yeah we have the one but i think our Scientist here is not smart enough to figure it out. Don't want to fail it if possible. Okay, we're actually moving fast, that's good. So this faction that we have here, right? This seems to be okay. Yeah, no effects. Doesn't they're just there. Oh yeah, and she leveled up to three, that's good. So, failure risk is still kinda there. So I think we, we will wait for a little bit more. There's a lot of stuff to survey. Maybe we should really go for a second. For a second... Survey ship. Could be good. Could be good. Let's take a look at the ship designer, what we have. Special project complete. I have a laser. Oh, good. Yeah, we're going to establish a listening post. We found the mining drones again. Log updated. I'm not gonna read the old ones that we already know. Oh, a pre-space. Oh, that's great. On Foshu's rest. That's Foshu over there. Going to build build a research station for sure. Research oh man. Complete. There we go. Okay, we got the habitable worlds chain done. So I think the next one will be get claim species. Or just gather up species. Oh look at those! The fungoids. No! We know we gotta destroy them. They're in the industrial age, so well, pretty interesting. Oh, no society research. What? Frick! How for how long? Hmm. How better hydroponics farm or propaganda broadcasts could buy could buy us a lot. It's actually pretty cheap. I think I'll go for that. Um, I think it's a good plan to do this mainly because. Was the were the wrong ones then? Uh, mainly because we can use wait, wait what? Oh yeah, we can use it for uh, you know the stations, the frontier outposts. I think those are really good to claim territory. And if we really want to, we I, I think we should claim over there. Actually, where's my fleet? What are you doing down there? You have no. I want to check this out a little bit more, and then we're going to look at these guys. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Cool, another one. Uh, leave it be for now. 
So yeah, that's our ring galaxy. You can see it right here. That's actually also our new let's play with the Man Mana Banana Nation. With a lot of N's and A's. And if you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And I really do hope that I see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, Auf Wiedersehen.